distinct structure to them. Okay, so they have little fibers that radiate. You simply can't get an appreciation of real geology from a textbook. Photographs don't do it. What you learn from you lecture or classroom doesn't do it. You really have to get out and experience it and see it for yourself. And we see every day the students coming to an outcrop or a feature that we're about to talk about, just not really ever having had an appreciation of how big it is until they get out there and see it. The world is a very complex place geologically. You really can't learn anything unless you get out into the field. You actually see the rocks, you actually see the contacts, and you actually make the correlation in the field itself. And, and that's why I love the field of geology, is that your office is the outdoors. And turbidity currents are capable of... Every student who's had at least one geology class can gain an incredible amount of insight into what they're seeing and learn a lot more than sitting in a classroom for 14 years. And students that have taken this field class will be better prepared for some of the advanced classes in the major because they have actually seen the features that will appear as models in their textbook. And they'll have a better appreciation for the scale of those features, what they look like, how close the model is to reality, have more experience interpreting in the field, which is what geologists do. Really for us as geologists, the outdoors is our laboratory. So if you're going to do science, you need to have access to a laboratory. For us, this is the laboratory right here. So it's really valuable for us to be able to take students to a place like this and give them some lab experience. Here in the field, being outside and being out in the environment, you can actually show them how things work, how things vary. We get a chance to actually touch the materials, see the features, see all the variations, instead of just seeing something idealized out of a textbook. Here, so you can get it all in on one page. Okay? So you got to kind of think a little bit about. Teaching in the field is a lot different because you're out here among the rocks, and there are plenty of times when we may be just driving down the road and screech to a halt because we see fantastic geology right by the roadside. Wouldn't plan to stop there, but that happens a lot where we just will park in front of an outcrop and start talking about it because we were fascinated by it. I think that gets students excited because we're excited. We have a blast traveling around looking at rocks that we've never seen before and actually my favorite thing to do is to stop either by myself or with a group of students at an outcrop or a feature that I've never seen before and try and interpret it and try and work, help students work through that process of interpreting it as well. There is an old saying, best geologist is the one who's seen the most rocks. He who sees the most rocks wins. Yeah. <laughs>